Hey guys, welcome to today's workout. So today's workout is what we're gonna classify as a power workout, meaning that we're gonna try and get through these reps with a level of power and a level of, let's call it positive aggression. Um, the idea is not to do something and force yourself to it so that you get crappy form. I want you to obviously try to stick to your form, but what I want you to try to do is we're pairing the assault bike with some body weight and one kettlebell, the kettlebell and one dumbbell today. So what I want you to do is on the body weight and on the bike, I want you to try to go not for broke, but I want you to go at a nice 80% or thereabouts capacity. So for me sitting on the bike, I'm trying to aim just to sit around the 65 RPM. It's nice and consistent. Um, when I'm on there long enough, it gets my heart rate jacked up to the 165 mark, which is for me being 51, it's probably about 95% of my heart rate max from my age. However, because I've got good general conditioning fitness, my max heart rate is actually now well over 200. I've actually got the heart, max heart rate capacity of a 25 year old. And that's just due to the fact that I'm able to do these repeat efforts. And that's not a show off or bullshit move. This is just the fact, this is like the way that I like to train therefore my body gets conditioned to that type of activity. And things like the assault bike, I can sit on the assault bike at 65 RPM and I can have a conversation. I'm just now used to that. Going faster than that there, then I tend to shut up and I'll tend to be head down and bum up. But the way that this works, the buy-in and the buy-out on the bike, it's 2,000 meters. So again, it's 60 to 65 RPM. That's about three to three and a half minutes, give or take, if I'm not using my hands properly and I'm trying to line up on my legs. But actually, that's your buy-in and your buy-out. When you come off of the bike, you're gonna go into some kettlebell explodes. So basically what that means, I've chosen to go with the 24. I want something a bit heavy, because when I come off of the bike, my legs are like jelly. So the kettlebell explode is simply, it's like a squat jump. I just call it explode, because all I'm trying to do is off the floor. I'm not stomping when I land. I'm trying to land through my foot. Right, trying to land as softly as I can. And again, that is 20 of the kettlebell explodes. We then take this space on the floor and we're aiming, again, for roughly 20 or so meters of a traveling body drop. So all I'll do, I'll start at this end, I'll drop down, get my body drop. I'm not looking for a big broad jump because I want to get another one in. One broad jump, body drop. Second broad jump, body drop. One lap, turn up and come back. So to go for the distance, I went up and back. I counted as a lap and I ended up doing that four times. Roughly 25, 30 odd meters. Just get down, get up, jump, get down, get up, jump. And I always ended the lap on a jump, turn around and started the lap on a drop as well too. From there we came off of that. Where are we? We then went onto the ski and we simply sat at the ski. We sat at around that two minute per 500 split and we just banged out a 500 meter. Nothing fantastic, no big, you know, big hairy moves because coming up next is some dumbbell activity. But if you've got lighter dumbbells, I want you to go for broke. I want you to try to get your 500 and I wanted to get it under two minutes. I did 202 for my 500 I could do under, but I just chose to just sit at that two minute split and just get my 500 meters. From then, I come onto the dumbbell and I've got two dumbbell moves. The first was dumbbell snatches from a hang position. So dumbbell is here, dumbbell is straight up, and I did for five. I then changed in the air to come down to my left hand for the five. So I simply got the dumbbell, it's here, whoosh, one. When I did my change, I did my change at the top. So I did my change on the fifth stroke. Come back down, one, two, three, four. Change in the fifth, back down. Five right, five left, twice through for a total of 20. We then come back into the dumbbell and a new move that I'm only still learning to get the grip of is what we call a squat clean. So basically I'm taking the dumbbell from the floor I'm going into that snatch, I'm pulling the dumbbell up, but it's only coming to my shoulder, but I'm going to catch that 
in the squat position. I'm then going to stand up. So for me, what it looks like, and again, I'm still learning too, is from here, and up, and down. Change hand, squat position, and up. So for me, I found this quite taxing. My mobility in my hips and my lower posterior area is where my work needs to be done. And I found that with this, when I got into a low squat, which is the reason why I prefer sumo in my squatting, and also trying to focus on keeping my heels on the floor when I'm doing my squats, my front squats, it's actually helped me be able to get into that position and therefore drive the bell up. That's it, simple. We ended on that there, and yes, as we said, there is a buyout. We went back onto that little devil's tricycle, as they call it, and we finished off for another 2,000 meters. All up took me 18 minutes and 12 seconds. That includes some videoing in between. It's not super fast, but it's also not a half an hour or more. It's about just me moving. My heart rate sat around that 145 to 165 pretty much the whole time, which is where I want it to be. Could I do it quicker? Yeah, I could probably do it quicker, but I'd also probably lose form and I'd probably end up hurting myself. So um, for you, if you want to go, you know, I happen to use a 25 kilo dumbbell and a 24 kilo kettlebell. Um, I also have a set of 10s. This would probably be a really, really good one to go for time if I simply dropped the 25 and went down to 10 and actually see what I could actually do. Could I crack this out in under 15 minutes? And perhaps that's one of the workouts for next week. That's it, so today a power workout. Again, reminder, buy in and buy out on the bike. Kettlebell for the explodes, traveling body drops, snatches from the hang position, and then squat cleans with a dumbbell, and then obviously back on the bike to finish off. That's the workout for today. Like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. There's my timer now going off from my 30 minutes. Um, any questions, comments, details below. Want to know a bit more, want to see about more about the program when it towels? I do one of these types of workouts every day. It's simply my version of coaching and my method that's been working for me now for a good 51, so a good nine years since recovering from my own little mishap in my health. My name is Don McStraw. Enjoy. This is the McStraw Method.